Guglielmo Parasporo's home lies beneath Sicily's scorching sun. The house looks as if it was shaped by the wind. Welcome to my place. Follow me. The building blends into its natural surroundings and has practically no corners. The facade is lime-based plaster, a traditional building material on Sicily. The flat, rounded form of the house is influenced by traditional Mediterranean architecture. Especially that from the islands around Sicily, north of Africa. Uh, in, in particular, the Damusos uh, in, of Pantelleria and the uh, little islands around Sicily. Uh, some um, traditional uh, Moroccan and, uh, Mag and architecture from Maghreb. Uh, that's what inspired us. A spacious kitchen dining room is the focal point of the 120 square meter house. Colorful accessories and art provide the only accent to the stark white of the interior. This is meant to be the heart of the house. The warmth uh, irradiates from here on. Um, we have the sun coming in, the chimney right behind your shoulder. The coziness of the place is all here and all the activity is supposed to, to start from here and irradiates to the rest of the house. Parasporo spends several months of the year here with his family. The furnishings are practical but well designed. A freestanding bathtub helps residents cool in the summer. Even when the mercury climbs to 40 degrees Celsius, it's still cool indoors. The windows are laid out so as to circulate cooling breezes within the house and the thick walls insulate from the heat as well. The walls are two, actually two, and uh, one is built perpendicular, the other one is diagonal, and uh, leave air in the middle. So they, they create a space, of air, a space of air between the two walls which is supposed to isolate properly. We don't even turn on the air conditioning, actually. Outside, an olive tree more than a century old provides more shade. The further away you get from the house, the wilder the surroundings become. A path leads down to a pool that was intentionally built some distance from the house. The um, swimming pool represents the sea. And uh, the passage, the gradual passage uh, down into civilization uh, from nature, a passage of uh, gradual uh, uh, wilderness fading until you get to the lawn, which is all uh, splendid and finally civilization. The businessman has realized a childhood dream in the garden. He's built a treehouse in a carob tree, a hideaway for young and old alike. I thought it was also a possibility to isolate um, from the, the crowd, from the rest of the family and friends, where you can come here and read and even sleep. Um, and so th that's why I, cre I created it. I decided to do it, yeah. Two roof terraces provide more space for relaxation and feature an added bonus. A view of the neighboring nature reserve and of the Mediterranean. 